Hello everybody, welcome to Indigo Terra Odyssey and welcome to the Magical Map Shifter and Peaks of Joy. I love this deck so much. Today I had a lot of this going on. Um, I was getting, it was like midday, I had, you know, I've just been puttering around and doing some reads and all of a sudden I thought, just take whatever you want and go out and go to the park and go for a nice walk and just go see what you see and see the geese and I took some gorgeous pictures it was everything going on today dogs were jumping off the end of this little fishing pier and swimming around and kids were laughing and it was so rich and beautiful and I didn't even know until later when I went to the grocery store because I lost track of dates and I didn't know it was Memorial Day weekend and everything was red white and blue and everybody looked to be in really good moods and I was like oh it is a three-day weekend for people for sure but I love this magical shapeshifter because this is saying how spirit orchestrates every one's destiny. And this kind of card comes with a mission to make us aware of the people who come into our life to impact our personal growth. Um, it could be just people whose presence invites us to be the best us. Um, I definitely know um, when I'm around any of my offspring, I, I I temper myself because I'm like, I don't need to be reactionary. Even if I'm in a car and somebody acts like a total butthead, it's like, I'm not going to start swearing and let them elicit some bonkers response in me. It's like, que sera, sera, you know, people will <laughs> do whatever they're going to do. And I don't have to let it impact me negatively. I thought this was really important in terms of um, a reminder that we can choose. We really, really can choose. Oh, look at this. I was like, what's the next card here? Embodiment. We can choose to be the embodiment of calm and love and forgiveness and completely get to a place where we're just accepting of circumstances. You know, we breathe easy. I feel like everybody out there is a wonderful built-in lesson for ourselves. We can observe people that are calm and wonderful and at peace. I love to watch people at the beach because they're usually in that really super relaxed state, right? Either unconscious in a chair, reading a book. You see very few super uptight people when they've been at the beach all day. You know, it has the fresh air and the salt water and the beautiful ocean. Has to, it has a tempering effect in a really positive way. That's why I like the stone circle, you know. I feel like that is true. In ceremony, you conjure a devotion so deeply it reflects the worship in yourself. The water does that for me. The forest does that for, for me. When I sometimes just see all the calm beauty around me, I remember all the times that I've experienced calm, beautiful days. And that's what this is about. And this is the Peaks of Joy today walking around the park. I must have stopped like five different times because I just saw the most ideal seascape to look at. It just looked gorgeous right on one of the top of the rocks is actually it is a peak of the beach and you can see and i looked over and i saw like a hundred sailboats coming out of this one harbor across over in long island i thought that is freaking amazing i don't there must be a regatta or a race or something going on it was amazing so i was witnessing that the fun dogs frolic in the water and jumping off the piers you know kids having a great time at the playground and it really did immerse me in this place of joy and lightheartedness and to remember also that I could recapture that at any time because I know we're all capable of many different mindsets throughout a minute throughout an hour throughout a day because prior to going to the beach and going for this walk you know I was kind of like just checking out the house and oh I should get this and I do need these groceries and I do need this and also when I was driving later it was, I didn't even, I don't know why at this time all these, all the school buses were out. It was a really odd time for them to be out. I, I thought they didn't come to the little school till 3.30, but it was like 3.15. And I thought maybe that's a, the, uh, uh, like a sports bus or something. But there was a whole series of them. And they looked like, you know, junior high age kids. And I felt a triggered response to want to get irritated knowing that I was behind a school bus that would probably stop 10 times before I got to my destination and then I was like you know what you're listening to a fun podcast you're in your car you're on your way to get some groceries so make a fun time of it observe the funny kids and their silliness and their interactions and the happiness and joy on their faces that they're out for a three-day weekend and it changed everything the perspective that's the stone circle to me where it's like I conjure up a good mood 
by then looking for things to be in a good mood about, right? We really can choose our moods by choosing our thoughts because prolonged thoughts and believing certain thoughts will create a mood in us. So why not believe that it's a beautiful, carefree day and we can do whatever we want. I'll also give myself nice little treats to look forward to. I'll get, you know, things that I really like to eat for snacks later. I'll get excited about a show I'm gonna watch, a piece of jewelry, a person I'm gonna talk to. Just something as simple as that and it will do that move a muscle change a thought to a degree where I'm then in a more chipper mood and I feel good about things so that is the peaks of joy bring those insights of things you're looking forward to that you're curious about and are going to bring you to those peaks of joys and also make make a daily you know make it a daily habit to have something on your roster or agenda that's going to provide that for you whether it's a nice restaurant visit you know going to the library going somewhere that is going to really get you excited about the day because we can't be excited 24 7 i mean if everything was a bonus and awesome the the quality of you know it, it, it would the quantity wouldn't reflect the quality so this is just about i want this couple of sparkling magical moments to occur and to look for them sometimes it's when we're not even looking when we're just in a restful uh like receivership state and that things just arrive for us you know plants planted buy yourself a little treat like i will plan sometimes a few days before if i want to get a new tarot oracle deck that's coming out i'll i'll go on pinterest and i'll look at some of the artwork on it i'll get stoked for it. i'll get excited in advance of receivership of that so little things like that and um creative endeavors those are great you know have you ever just like gotten all the supplies for something whether you wanted to sew something you got all the fabric you got all that you know your needles and everything that you needed and looking forward to that right sometimes just planning to do something creative is so awesome you bought all the ingredients for some of your favorite meals before you prepare the food it's exciting it brings us to these peaks of joys and that's what we are reaching for so that is what you guys need to hear today thanks so much for tuning in in your beautiful comments i hope you guys have a great three-day weekend it's just it's i feel like I don't even know what the weather is but I'm just I'm hoping that everybody gets sunshine and breezes and really you know perfect non-humid weather for this so love and light